Okay, let's look at this. Uh, yeah, absolute equation. So, as uh, the same concept here. So, in modulus of 4, you will get 4. Modulus of negative 4, you will still getting 4. So, I can say that uh, modulus of x that equals to 4, the result will be x equals to positive negative of 4, right? Uh, so, it will be positive, it will be negative to get a 4. So, same thing also for this. If you modulus of x plus 4, it can be the, it can be 5x plus 8, it also can be negative 5x plus 8. So, once you open up the modulus, okay, uh, the, don't think so much, you just think if you open up the modulus, then you need to put one positive, uh, one positive, and the other one will be x plus 4, equals to negative of 5x plus 8. Uh, this is the most important step that you must remember. So, uh, the x plus 4 is the positive of 5x plus 8 or maybe x plus 4 is a negative of 5x plus 8. Uh, we, we look at the simple concept here, we can apply for this concept, uh, for this qu qu question. So, I can uh, uh, solve the equation. x minus 5x, you have negative 4x. 8 minus 4, 8 minus 4, you have uh, 4, right? So you have x equals to negative 1. So this is the solution. Let's see, we, we need further check for to confirm that this will be your solution. So now uh, for this case, you have x plus 4 equals to negative 5x uh, minus with 8. Then you will have uh, 6x negative 8 negative 4, negative 12. So you have x equals to negative 2, right? Uh, so for now, you have two solutions, right? You have two solutions. But for absolute equation, there might be your one of the solution is the false solution, the false one. So for example, I am going to check for the first one. Huh? Uh, check for the first cases. So if uh, well, for x equals to negative 1, let's look at the left hand side, right? Uh, we, we check, okay? Modulus of x plus 4. This is your left hand side, right? Left hand side. Uh, this is your right hand side. So we're checking whether the solution satisfied the equation or not. So we have negative 1 plus 4. Modulus x plus 4. x negative 1. So you have modulus of 3, which gives you 3, right? And we go to check for the right hand side. On the right hand side, so you have 5x plus 8. So negative 1, then you are still getting 3. So it means that the left hand side is the same as the right hand side. So you confirm that this is the solution for this absolute equation because they happen to be equal, right? Uh, it's equal. So x negative 1 satisfied the, uh, <coughs> the equation. So how about x equals to negative 2, right? So let's move on to the left hand side. And modulus of negative 2 plus 4, x plus 4. We have modulus of 2 and you have 2, right? And for the right hand side, you have 5x, 5x plus 8. Your x will be negative 2, which gives you negative 10 plus 8, which gives you negative 2. Ah. The left hand side is not the same as the right hand side. So, these two and negative two is different. So, x equals to negative is not the solution. Or logically, logically, hello, logically, if you see that, how come right hand side is negative two? Because right hand side, right hand side is negative 2. It's not supposed to happen because modulus of a number, you won't get a negative. Right? You won't get a negative. Or if you use this, it will be easy to explain because the 2 and the negative 2 are different. But logically, right hand side shouldn't be negative 2 because modulus, you will not get a negative number. So, this is not a solution. Huh? Not a solution. So, not the solution. So, reject. Reject. What's the reason? You must tell your reason. Uh, this is the reason why you reject the solution. So therefore, there is only one solution, which is x equals to negative 1. Alright? 
So very simple. This is uh, the second question.